Good day everyone, my name is Nicole Spirit and we're here to do just a nice little short Pilates class, get your core fired up, feeling super charged up today and just decided to do this fun little class, make it maybe like 15-20 minutes. So let's go ahead and start on our yoga mat. We have special guest puppy Finn in the house, Puka's upstairs, and we're going to start with our feet about one hip width apart. So take a moment, take your toes and raise them up in the air and then gently float them down. And we're gonna start by doing something called liver rolls. We're gonna massage all of these internal organs. So take a moment, float your arms up over your head. As soon as you do that, do that imaginary zipper up inside your body. Take hold of your right wrist and let's go down to the right. Inhale, big breath, exhale, charge to come back up. You're gonna notice this in your core right away. It's like your powerhouse turns on, starts to massage your liver, it starts to massage your inner organs. And when we massage the liver, we release anger and frustration, irritability, jealousy, and then we replace with feel-good vibes like charisma and good self-esteem. Last one in this direction. And then we're gonna come back up. Pause for a moment, switch your hands, catch your breath, see how you're feeling, ignite that powerhouse, that core energy, and then go the other way. Inhale down, big circle, exhale up. It should feel like a really big charge in all of your internal organs. You smile, maybe just purge, notice what you're releasing. Sometimes this makes people feel a little bit queasy and that happens and that's okay. Good, last two circles. Oh, I'm massaging the spleen and the stomach on the left, releasing worry, nervous energy. Good, and then we come back to standing. Release your arms by your sides. Let's take a moment, find the breath, bend at the elbows, take the thumb and the middle finger together. This is a mudra for patience. Always remember that, the middle finger one. <laughs> Keep your shoulders down, your elbows up. We're gonna to twist to the left, big inhale breath. Twist to the right, big exhale. So you start to speed up and add a vigorous breath. So your bottom is staying nice and rooted and grounded and the top of you is getting this really nice twist and you're able to actually feel your ribs and your diaphragm. Last 10 seconds. Engage your powerhouse, your core energy. Good. And then we're going to gently slow it down, slow it down. Come back to standing. Pause for a moment. Take a deep breath with your arms still up. Hold. Good. Then release. We'll float the arms down. Excellent. Puppy doesn't want to chew his leash. He wants to just be a good boy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some squats now. So let's put the feet a little bit wider apart and take the arms by your sides again. And this is a squat where we're gonna lower with the body, come down on the inhale, the arms come down with you. And on the exhale, you sweep your arms back up with you. So inhale down, exhale up. I didn't even tell you how many we're gonna do, but you're gonna to start to feel this in your bum, you're gonna feel this in your leg muscles. Find your core, your powerhouse. Good, let's try for 11 more. Big charge on the way up. Oh yeah, there we go. This is where you burn away any frustration, any internal challenges, any emotions that are stored in your organs. Last three. But we're gonna end up back in standing. Gently release your arms by your sides. Good, how are you feeling? Find your breath. Let's make our way to the floor now. So arrive on your hands and knees. Take a moment, bring your hands right under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, find your breath. Long, smooth spine, like a tabletop, maybe wag the tail a little bit, just to come back to the here and now. 
And then we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna hover, we're gonna hover our table. So you're gonna curl your toes, you're gonna engage your core, and you're gonna lift up your body. Inhale and lift your knees. Hover about two or three inches above the ground. Try and make sure your neck is straight. Don't collapse through the shoulders. Make sure your low back stays nice and flush, nice and straight. One more breath. Big inhale, big exhale. Excellent, lower down, let's give ourselves a little rest. Well deserved. Release your feet, release your hips, stretch your arms out in front for child's pose. And another variation you can do is stacking the fists. Or take any position with the arms that feels good today. And I want you to just breathe. See how you're feeling. Good. Excellent. We're going to do a really neat move that's going to engage the buttocks area. So just take a moment now. Bring your hands back under your shoulders. Good. Find your breath. Nice long spine. And then we're going to lift the right foot. So take your right foot up and then lower it back down. Inhale up. Exhale, lower it back down. Let's do two more like that. And if you're feeling like taking it a little bit further, we'll engage the arm. So take your left arm out, right leg long now, big inhale breath, and then exhale, draw your elbow and knee together. Good, inhale, lengthen through the toes and fingers, hold spine as long. Use your core, the powerhouse, to engage and bring yourself back. Inhale, lengthen, breathe, exhale to engage one more time. Find your sunbird, your surya, churya, the beautiful phoenix that rises after the fire is burned down the forest. Good, come back to sunbird, engage that buttocks area, engage the core, and then release down your hand and knee. Good, let's do the other side. Lift up the left foot, inhale up, exhale, bring your knee down. Inhale up, pulse through that bum area, the three big muscles that make up each glute, each cheek. Good, and when you've done four, pause for a moment, extend your right arm long now, take your left leg behind you, big inhale breath, and then exhale, draw the elbow and knee this time on the other side. Inhale and lengthen, exhale and contract. Let's do two more. Nice and engagement through the core. Good. Exhale, release. One more breath. <sighs> Exhale. Good. Come back to all fours again. Pause for a moment. And here's a really nice place to give ourselves a neck and shoulder release. So take your right arm. We're going to thread the needle. Thread your right arm underneath your left armpit. Good. So hang out here. Your left arm can reach forwards. That's a nice little variation. You can keep it where it is, your hand under your shoulder. You can reach your arm up. Notice your powerhouse, engage your core, find whatever your center is doing all the time, and then release as well through that left side. Left arm can bend and arrive at your right side. Good, one more breath, take your time. When you're ready, inhale, gently push the ground away with that left hand. And then we're going to do the other side. Good. So take a moment, get yourself all ready. Lie down. <laughs> lie down, puppy. Puppy fin, lie down. And then we're going to take the left hand, sorry for the delay, and bring it right underneath your right armpit. Again, make your little variations here. Take a moment. You can take your right hand and reach it forwards. That's probably my favorite variation here. Another option is bring your arms straight up. Make sure you're not putting any pressure in the neck or shoulder. And then your option as well is to bend at the elbow. Maybe your hand arrives at the low back. Good. Let's take one more breath. Go right into your neck and shoulder girdle. Let's release now. Bring your right hand back to the floor and then push the ground away. Come back to hands and knees. We're gonna gently take our right legs to the side. Our right legs, our, right, our legs to the right side and then bring them out in front. Ooh, such a sweet little puppy. I'm sure you wanna see him and you wanna see me. So let's do a couple things seated and then we're gonna lower our weights to the mat. Lower our way down. 
So let's keep ourselves in that nice upright position. Notice your knees are bent, your feet are plugged into the floor. And then we're going to get that nice moment where we're hugging the tree. We feel our ganda, our spine lengthening up and down. And then if it's available, we lift the feet. We can catch our hands underneath the thighs. We can also just release. And if we're doing a true Pilates class, we aim for teaser pose. So get that nice V shape. You can whew, feel your belly pop out and shake. 78,000 nerves bundled in the center of your belly. And then coming to teaser, raise up your legs. Maybe you do one at a time. Maybe you raise up the arms. Hold for one more breath. Good, lengthen in the spine, up and down. Let yourself vibrate and shake. Good, let's release the feet down now. We're gently gonna float our way to the floor. And then we're gonna do three teaser sit-ups per side. So you keep your knees up. You're gonna raise up your right leg, point through the toes, arms up overhead. Engage your core, inhale. Exhale, come up to a nice little sit-up. Come back to your teaser. Release down with control. Inhale, sorry, Finn. Exhale, come up. Yes, one more breath. Release with control, inhale. And then exhale, visualize, charge your core, feel yourself sitting up, and then gently release that left leg. Can you do this right leg? Can you do this releasing with your left leg up now? Point through your left leg, big inhale, breath. Exhale, roll it down. Pause for a moment, engage, visualize, big breath. And on your exhale, you're gonna come back up. Good, two more times. Inhale down, exhale up. Last one, inhale down, good. Exhale up, excellent. Let's release. Let release that left foot. Are you feeling it today? Can we do three teaser sit-ups with our legs straight? If you find that totally stupid, <laughs> then just do three little crunches. Keep your elbows open and back. Head straight up to the sky. If it's available, both legs straighten now. I haven't done this in a minute, so let's see how it goes. Take your arms up overhead, big in inhale breath. Visualize, charge. Exhale, come up to teaser. Good, inhale down. Exhale. One more. Superpowers, super tools in our toolbox. Good, feel your powerhouse ignite. Release down, whether you have one or both legs up. Good, release your feet. And now we're gonna draw our knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. Breathe. This feels good. One more breath. Excellent. Let's do one more core exercise. It's gonna give us a spinal twist and our oblique workout. So bring your feet to the floor, arms out to your sides, pick up your hips to the right, inhale, bring your knees up, and then exhale, lower your knees to the left. Good. So get nice and rooted and grounded, and maybe this is as far as you wanna to go today. You just wanna stay in spinal twist. Hands behind the head now. Open up the elbows. You can even use your right hand on your rib area just to make sure you're engaging those oblique muscles. And you're gonna inhale and look straight up. Keep your elbows open and back and exhale and lower. If you're feeling super incredibly strong, you just release your hands all together. Otherwise, make a little basket with your hands. Elbows are open, head moves straight up and down. Inhale up, engage that side body, the oblique body, exhale down. Don't quite touch the floor. Let's do four more. You can also do a, a hold where you just hold your body in isometric contraction. Mm, two more breaths, whatever you do, moving or holding, getting that nice squeeze in the hourglass shape that we wish for. Good, and then release. Gently bring your head to the floor. Extend your arms out long. Pet the puppy if it's close. <sighs> Good, use your core, engage through the midsection, the powerhouse, the lower three chakras, bring your knees up, feet down, hips to the left this time. Pick up your knees again, big inhale, exhale, float your knees to the right. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Hang out in your nice spinal twist 
or bring your hands behind you and let's do a couple of crunches. So you inhale, bring yourself straight up. Try not to round through the neck. You're gazing up, your elbows are open and back. You exhale down. But good, you can just put your left hand, agun. <laughs> Again, put your left hand on your left rib area just to really see which oblique area muscles you're targeting. These side core and powerhouse muscles last four. And again, you also might just hold up in a nice contraction. Make sure there's no strain on your neck. You can even make a little basket with your hands for your neck, just to make sure that you're not putting any stress on your neck or shoulder girdle. Pardon me, last two breaths. Whatever you decide to do, keep that inner smile, that inner fire going. Release down now, good. Release your arms out to the sides, excellent. And then draw your knees up to center. Big inhale, charge through center throughout the powerhouse. And then feet come down. Hips to the right, come back into this nice alignment. And we're gonna finish off with a double leg and arm stretch. So draw the knees up and into the chest, lift the head, neck and shoulders. Take your hands by your ears. Big inhale, send your arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, draw back to center. Visualize, it's like you're taking a top hat off your head and your legs are pushing out. If you find this too much, leave your head on the ground. Keep your chin tucked. You can also do a variation where maybe you just do the legs. Maybe you just do the arms. Good, let's try for four more. Nice coordination, gracefulness in our movement. Smile, soften your face. Ignite your inner crystalline nature of health and happiness and goodness and wellness. Good, on the last one we pause and give ourselves a release in the core. Drop your head down, keep your knees up and in, in wind release, Pavan Muktasana pose. Give yourself a nice smoosh and hug. Inhale, release your knees and legs a little bit. And then exhale and squeeze your thighs into your side body as much as you can. This helps digestion. Two more times. Inhale out. Exhale, squeeze. Good. And then we're going to finish off making our own energy ball. So bring your feet together. Rub, rub, rub your hands. Rub, rub, rub. Create some warmth and friction and light. If you find this too much, then just do the hands, but let's do four more breaths. Now change the direction, sweep your hands side by side and your feet, big breath. Now make a circle in one direction, big breath. Make a circle in the other direction, big breath. And then the last one, just rub, 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 find all those nerve endings in your hands and feet that relate to all your rest of your body, good. And then lower your feet down. Make a little energy ball with your hands. Start to separate your hands. Just gently imagine that there's a beautiful force of healing and love. It's an energy ball, a chi ball, ki, mana, prana. Use your imagination, visualization. Maybe even close your eyes. Feel if there's a bit of a force pushing your hands apart. Visualize this is the most healing energy for you at this time. Gently bring this energy ball down to your heart. Float your hands over your chest area. Use a couple of moments to visualize your heart opening now. Going to a beautiful space, a beautiful portal. It's almost like there's a hatch or a door or even a spiraling vortex like we would see with water in a funnel and open up your heart. And when you go into that space, you notice how much brightness and love is shining out. And there's just this unconditional love that starts to happen when you begin to smile and you close your eyes and you soften your face and you slow down your breath. Let's hang out here for a couple more moments. If you wish, you can bring your knees together. You can float your legs down to the ground. Gently smile inside. Find that beautiful mantra, Om Shanti, which means my inner world is peace. Take a few breaths with this beautiful energy of your heart and let it fill you with love. Know that you are greatly loved. Know that you have a higher self or divine guardian angel looking after you and if you need to, you ask for help. Know you also have a little inner child. So let yourself 
have a little play every single day. Go to your little island of peace, maybe even three times a day, just for five minutes. Breathe, soften, have a break. It really does everything so much better for the rest of your people around you even if you're peaceful. All right, we're gonna end off our practice now. Thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate your time and energy. And this has been a lovely gift that the Pilates in me wants to enjoy and activate your powerhouse and the Pilates in you. So let's gently roll up to seated. We're gonna bring the knees in, rock and roll a couple times, hands behind the knees. You don't have to come up this way. You can just push yourself up and we're gonna arrive and meet together in a seated position. Good. So take a moment, find your roots from your sit sitting bones behind you, get a nice tall spine, and we're gonna end off by bringing our hands together and just making a little commitment to devoting some time and energy every day to our own goodness, our own breath, to the things that we can control, listening to our body, being kind to ourselves and everyone else, and wishing this earth great peacefulness, happiness, and healthiness. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining Pilates for everybody. I so appreciate it. Have the best day ever. Bye, guys.